Welcome to WP Easy Cart. In this video tutorial, we're going to walk through how to utilize a WP Easy Cart's download feature. Uh, it's very easy to sell retail products, gift cards, as well as downloadable goods. Uh, you might have movies, PDF files, ebooks, um, imagery. There's lots of situations where you'd like to give your customer a file or a collection of files. And so we're going to take a look at that process. Uh, we make it very easy to sell downloads and we control them uh, through the customer's account. So let's get going here. Uh, you'll see I have a regular store set up with just some demo data. These are just retail products that you would ship to somebody and we're going to add a downloadable product to this. So I'm going to jump back to my EasyCart administration console and under products I'm just going to go ahead and create a new product and we create it virtually like we would any other product with just a, a couple little setting changes. Uh, so I'm going to call this download test product quick SKU and I'm just going to say this is 995 and just a quick description and I'm going to create this product uh, within easy cart once you create your product uh, you'll notice that the rest of the options down below open up and so I'm going to go ahead and add a quick image for my download uh, it could be something as simple as your company logo uh, or you, you create a graphic. It, even though they're downloads, it's still nice to have some kind of imagery set up uh, for those. So I'm just going to pick one of these images. And as we look down through the other settings, um, quantity options, uh, you don't have to track these. Um, you could track it to see how many times you sell it. Uh, so you might track overall quantity. Uh, sometimes I like to you know, give them a high value of 5,000 or 10,000 just so I can see how many of them overall I've sold. And as you go through there's some other basic settings. Uh, do I want to show this on the main store? Yes I do. That's fine. Um, you can turn on other settings like allow customer reviews. These are all certainly things you can you can look through. They don't have anything really to do with the download option, but they're great uh, features. You can set up SEO stuff. Uh, we're going to go all the way down here. Uh, the next one I would look at is shipping. Uh, because this is a downloadable product, uh, I don't really want to enable shipping for this product. Now that could mean you do want to ship it um, and we do have option sets where you can specifically say ship me the product or download. And so in some cases you might want to have a download where shipping is enabled. Uh, it just depends on the setup. I'm going to go on down here to the download options and this is where we're going to set up what the product is that we want to give the customer. Uh, so I'm going to select download product and you'll notice you get some more settings here. One of the things you can do with the Easy Cart is you can use your own server to serve downloads or we do have an integration with Amazon S3 and Amazon S3 is a free storage system that lets you upload your uh, products and when customers click on the download button after they purchase it will actually feed the file from Amazon and it's a great option if you have really large downloads or you want a little extra security um, on your downloads. If you use your own server uh, you just realize that it's going to use your server's bandwidth, your server's processing power and all of that can count towards your hosting uh, depending on what your web hosting plan looks like. Um, some web hosts limit that information or how much bandwidth you get or how much um, storage space you have. So Amazon S3 is a really good option um, if you have those large downloads 
and you need that uh, that extra space. Um, if you're curious about setting up uh, Amazon S3, uh, you can jump over to our documentation, and we have uh, under our uh, extra guides section. You can click on Amazon S3 setup and we try to walk you through how to set up uh, Amazon S3. It's kind of a complex setup. It takes a few extra steps. Um, you got to create these buckets and add permissions to them. Uh, definitely more secure but we try to walk you through that process here in our documentation uh, should you want to do that. Uh, so once you do I'm going to go ahead and close my docs. If you, you choose Amazon S3, it would read them right here, and you can see it's currently not connected. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and use my server uh, right now, and this just uses the standard WordPress uh, media library. So I can just upload a file here. Uh, I have a zip file. Uh, we always recommend you package your downloads in a zip because it compresses it, makes it smaller for your customers to download, and you run into less compatibility issues. Um, a lot of web hosts don't like it if you upload executable files or uh, batch files. Uh, certain file formats might get automatically deleted. Uh, so it's a really good idea to package your, your download into a zip file, even if you just have one file. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and you can see it puts in the URL for this. Uh, if you want to you could rename your file, kind of obfuscate it, give it some kind of hash so it would be a little bit harder uh, for customers to detect. Um, that's certainly something you can do. Um, we also have a couple options here, maximum downloads. Uh, you can limit your customer to only download this file five times. Uh, that could stop some abuse to it, uh, or you can just leave it open so it's open-ended. Uh, you can also set up expiration date, uh, and this is in seconds, and so you can calculate you know, how, if you wanted a day uh, or a week, uh, put in how many seconds you want that to be available uh, to your customer, and then after that point it would lock down. So really the only thing you need to do is just select download product, uh, where you're gonna uh, have the location and then upload your file and I'm gonna go ahead and hit update downloads and so now I'm gonna jump over to my store and I'm just gonna refresh my store and you can see we have a download test product here I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and for the most part it looks like any other product um, customer reviews, how many is in stock. You can disable some of these visual things if you'd like to. Um, but you can see it really looks like a standard product. I'm just going to add this to the shopping cart. And I'm going to go ahead and check out. And again you just fill out the information. Now if all the customer has in their account is a download, it really is not going to ask for their shipping because it's not shippable. If they have a mixed cart of something shippable and downloads, uh, you would get the shipping information here, and you'd get, you know, shipping would calculate based on just your shipping items. I'm going to go ahead and continue to payment. Now, when you get to payment, uh, we really like you to use live card processors like Stripe.com or Authorize.net because it gives the user instant payment. Uh, in instant approval. Uh, if you use something like PayPal, uh, the customer leaves your website, they go out to PayPal and pay, uh, you have to wait for the IPN to talk back to your site and say, hey, the order's approved, and there can sometimes be a delay, uh, a couple minute delay, sometimes an hour delay. Um, so if you're going to sell downloads, it's a little bit more professional to have customers just pay directly on your site. That way they get the instant approval and they get the instant download. And so I'm just going to put in some test credit card information here. And I'll just submit my order. And right now it's going to process through a test account with Stripe. And you can see it's instantly approved. And 
If you sell downloads, your customer will see this view download button. If you don't, that won't be there if they're just regular goods. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on view downloads. And you can see this takes the user to their account and they see the order number, the date, whether or not it was approved and, and so on and so forth. And you also see this information here. This is the product along with the download button. If the order was not approved uh, or is waiting for PayPal, they wouldn't see the download button. They'll only get that if they're approved. And this is going to let that customer then just click on it and you can see they get their download. So it's a really simple process. Uh, we also send in the email. I'm going to open up the email here. For this user, we can see uh, what the email would look like, and it would also include a download button. Uh, now, that download button will not directly let them download. What it will do is take them out to the same page, it takes them to their account and they'll need to log in and that way you can control uh, who downloads and who gets that download um, from the account so that's how the downloads work if we jump over here to orders this is order 17 we just placed we can open up an order and we can see that this user has this download attached to their uh, to their order and it's coming from your web server. The other thing we let you do is we let you manage downloads and over here under orders you'll notice you have manage downloads and this is especially helpful if you have a customer call in and say hey I got the wrong download or you need to reset some of their values and maybe they've, they've exceeded their limits so I'm going to open up order 17 and this lets me edit the information for this order uh, for example if you have a time limit and they can only download it for 10, 10 minutes or you know 10 days you can reset the date um, we can also change the download count so it, every time they download you're going to see this increment and if they've only you know exceeded their limit of five downloads you can reset that we can also change what the customer ordered so they call in and, and a customer says or emails you and says hey I'm getting the wrong download can you change me one so we could actually come into just order 17 and we could actually change the upload file and I have my new download and now I'm going to go ahead and save this and now that order 17 is attached to a different download makes it really nice so a customer can then you can just email them back and say hey just log into your account and re-download it and you'll see that now they're getting the new download instead of the original and so it lets you do that on a per order basis and a per download lets you reset numbers and it's a pretty flexible system uh, really lets you manage them quite well and really automates the entire process uh, for the most part you really don't have to interact with it at all um, the customer will be able to get the email and the confirmation view their downloads they can always download them through their account and makes a great way for you to feed any kind of digital product to your users so there's some of the settings um, you know again if you would like to use Amazon S3 uh, you can always go to your settings and you can go to your third party setup and here you'll notice you have Amazon S3 setup and again go through the help documentation that we have out there and you can uh, set up a bucket and you can actually feed your downloads from Amazon so that you don't even use your own servers bandwidth uh, makes it a little bit more secure so very flexible system uh, again, EasyCart is a great way to sell digital downloads, and these are all regular, they look just like regular products on your website. So you can promote these and you can design them and set them up however you want them to look. So again, questions, let us know, uh, but that's the EasyCart digital download section. Thank you.